this evening thou son of david i have come before you thou son of david visit me today prayer in the name of jesus my lord and my god my lord and my maker lord i have come before you today visit me once again 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 god me kulia is kapali asuti esande kebali asa is zarus Panda escupa ruas kitaba mendes cute parua escaparia sandes keba meruska panda escaparia scuteba meruski ajeduba mendo askeba mendo skipa escaparuasa beruska da beruska beruska isadadu askende coba beruski liate sadaskapa esate coba merica banda esate co esa Esateko, 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 ajeda skuba, esariska, e baru aske, oh Lord, visit me, 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 in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Brethren, I want us to pray, this prayer of visitation, very intense. Yesterday, the moment the choir started worshiping, Holy Spirit whispered something to me, and that was what intensified my prayer aggressively yesterday while they were singing. Holy Spirit said, Yesterday marked the last Sunday of the month. You need another level of strength. A new month is about to come. You're about to enter another new season. Brethren, we need a fresh visitation. You see, it doesn't take time for a believer to begin to stay in this journey. It doesn't take time for a believer to, to lose, to lose the sense of consciousness that is a journey. It's a journey. It's a journey. It's a journey. That God, the Bible says, let's quickly look at the book of Psalm, the book of Psalm 8. Psalm 8. Psalm 8. Psalm 8. From verse 4. Psalm 8 from verse 4 says, What is man that thou art mindful of him? And the son of man that thou visitest him? In progress. What is what man, is man that thou visitest him, thou Lord, thou son of David, in your mercy, O God? In your the Bible says, For those that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Lord, I call upon you today. Don't let me embark on a, on a journey of no return. Don't let me embark on a journey of no return. Lord, visit me this season. Lord, I need your visitation. Lord, I started this year, oh God. Today is already 29. I can't continue like this without your visitation. Lord, visit me, oh God. Visit me, oh God. Prayer in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my God. My Lord and my God. Lord, visit me. Visit me. Visit me. Visit me. Visit me. Is Kaparu Asira. Ezene Ebande Skutia. Barusko Askita. Peruska Lida. Sate Ekopa Prala. Escalande Skika Praya. Is Kapuria Maruskena. Meruske Azene Kopa. Is Kali. Has come by what it Lord, you visited Adam and if Lord, you visited them, oh God, you visited Father Abraham, Father, oh God, thou son of David. I am your son. You said I have become a friend, I am no longer a slave. Neither a servant, thou son of David, 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 Meko Askiba, is Cabrande Scuria, Mesquilia Buriaski, a Sande Copa Palia, Escabaru Askiba, a Sate Copa Panda, is Caparu Askiba, a Suto Brandeskia, a Sale Ecopa, Meruske Eski, is Caprandeskia, a Sapalu Askia, a Sate. Baruaske, Ezuria, Pala, 
my Lord and my God. Visit me, 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 visit, 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 visit me, Lord. 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 Visit, oh God. Visit, oh God. Visit, oh God. Visit, oh God. Visit, Lord. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible said in the book of Acts, the Bible made us understand something that was very, very powerful. The Bible says Paul got to Artemis. He got to a place and he said, why are you worshipping a God that thou knowest not? <laughs> Brethren, there are many men, many of us, including myself, that go to church, but we don't really know. They go. <laughs> Think about this. Why do you think Jesus, we ask, why would Jesus ask um, his disciples, who do men say I am? They give different responses. Now he now asks them, okay, the adventure, the people from the public, might have a different perception of me. What about you? That we eat together every day. Who do men, who do you say I am? Guess what? None of them will answer that question. Except for one, and even that one, it was the mercy of God. It was the mercy of God that gave him access the mercy of God. Jesus Christ told him, he told Peter right away. He said, you have not known this by flesh and blood. Flesh and blood has not revealed this. Ah, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ah, oh my God. May I not go on a journey? You see, they say, oh my God. Oh my God. The Bible says they were walking with him on the way to, uh, oh my God. Ah, I'm trying to remember the, 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 they were on his way, but they, they couldn't know that was him until he broke the bread. The moment he broke the bread, their eyes were open. That, oh God, visit me, oh God. Lord, visit me, oh God. Lord, visit me, oh God. Lord, don't let me be a stranger. Oh my God. Don't let me be a stranger as your son. Don't let me be a stranger as your children. Lord, visit me. Lord, visit me. Visit me, oh God. That I was supposed said that I may know him. After writing eight epistles, that I may know him. Oh Lord, visit me. This season, oh God, visit me. Visit me. Prayer in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my God. Lord, we come before you. Visit, Lord. Visit, Lord. Visit, Lord. Visit, Lord. Visit, Lord. Visit, oh God. Visit, oh God. Visit me. Visit me. Visit my home. 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 Visit. 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 Visit, Lord. Visit me, 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 thou son of David, thou son of David, thou son of David, visit me, Lord, 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 visit me, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Brethren, look at what the Bible says in the book of Genesis. The Bible says, Abraham began to negotiate with the Lord, even though Sodom 
was corrupted. Even though Gomorrah was polluted, Abraham said to God, what if, he said, remember this, as at this time, Jesus has not come. There has not been a remission of sin through the blood. But look, I want you to hear the word of a man who has journeyed in the place of intimacy. Blood has not been shed as a remission of sin for us. There has not been restoration yet from the falling of Adam. Yet, a man was telling God, Father Abraham, what if, what if you can find 50 righteous men? What if you can find 40 righteous men? Brethren, despite Lot was considered a righteous man, guess what? Lot couldn't detect, couldn't, couldn't discern, couldn't know that that moment, that season, was a season of judgment over Sodom. Lot couldn't pick the mind of the Lord. Lot couldn't know what the Lord was saying in that season. Yet, he was considered a righteous man. I'm saying this to encourage you. Please, don't allow the naysayers in church. Don't allow the naysayers in your, in, 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 at your job. Don't allow friends to tell you, you are, you are serving God too much. You are doing too much. You go to church too much. You know why? Because, you see, when the day of judgment comes, I said this last week, and this is not a cause. I'm telling you the truth. When the day of judgment comes, God forbid, God forbid that even the righteous might be caught up in it. If the righteous doesn't discern, if the righteous doesn't journey enough, imagine what could have happened to Lot. If, if another man who has journeyed deeper, who have gone deeper with God, could dictate. Lot was a righteous man. He, the Bible even said his, his daughters were virgins. Yet, Lord had no access to the mind of God. Lord had no, he had no, he had no idea what heaven was planning. He had no idea to the voice of the Lord. Yet another man journeyed. He journeyed to the point God left heaven. Look, God left heaven. Genesis 18. God left heaven, came down to tell him, say, how do I do such a thing? Brethren, I want us to tell the Lord, Lord, visit me, O God. Visit me, O God. I don't just want to call a Christian. I don't just want to go to church. I want to have an evidence, an evidence, and a proof, a proof that I know God. I might not know everything about God, but I want to be, let there be a witness in my heart that I have met this God, that I have met the Lord, that, oh God, visit me once again. Lord, I have heard about your testimony. You visited Moses at the back side of the desert. Oh, Lord, at the burning bush. You visited Father Abraham. Lord, visit me. Visit me. Visit me. That's my life, oh God. Prayer, prayer, prayer. Lord, my God, visit me, Lord. Visit me, Lord. Your visitation I desire. Your visitation I desire. Your visitation I desire. Your visitation I desire. Meruske ake. Ekeko baruske. Malende skika parua. Esateno areke. Belia sika kulia. Balia sande keba. Iska parua zenda. Iska rute kaba. Esate koba parua. Eska parua sita. Eskite kambaria. Mende skupa rua. Iska bandeli atena. Ajada skuka pa. Eska poria skina. Iska poria sande. Mesko aruta. Iska bandeli atena. Eskika bandelia. Esate no abande. Iska po ajete ko. Borua sia. Esale. Eko, esa leko, baruska, 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 izeneko, eruta, esa nenoa, izante kupa, beruasa, 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 izura, eskapa, izabalia, izuria, izuria. Lord, visit me, visit me, visit me, visit me, visit me, visit me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want us to pray. And tell the Lord, that Lord, 
revive anything that is dying within me. Revive my prayer altar, Lord God. Don't let me die like this. Don't let me enter into February like this. Revive me, O oh God. Revive my prayer altar. Revive my love and passion for you. Lord, something else is replacing that love. Something else is replacing that passion. Something else, oh God, is taking that place of intimacy. Lord, revive my prayer altar. Restore my first love, oh God. Lord, restore my first love, oh God. Restore my love for you. Restore my love for you. Prayer, prayer, prayer. My Lord and my God, restore my love for you. Restore my love for you. Whatsoever is dying within me, restore them, Lord. Restore them, Lord. Whatsoever is dying in the life of my wife, restore, Lord. Restore, Lord. Restore, Lord. Restore, Lord. Restore, Lord. Restore. 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 Restore, oh God. Restore, oh God. Restore, oh God, restore, oh God, restore, oh God, restore, oh God, restore, 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 Lord, restore, Lord, restore, Lord, restore, Lord, restore, Lord, restore, 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 in Jesus. Name we pray. Amen. I want us to pray and tell the Lord, Lord, open my eyes of understanding. The Bible says in Ephesians 1, Ephesians 1 says, I pray that the God Almighty give you the spirit of wisdom and the revelation knowledge. Lord, open my eyes of understanding. Open my eyes of understanding. In your mercy, O oh God, open my eyes of understanding. Lord, open up my eyes of understanding that I may see, that I may begin to see. Lord, open up these eyes of understanding. Prayer, prayer in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, open up my eyes of understanding. Open up my eyes of understanding. Open up my eyes of understanding. Open up, Lord. Open up, Lord. Open up, Lord. Open up, Lord. Open up my eyes. Open 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 my eyes. Open, Lord. 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 Open up my eyes, 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 in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want us to pray and tell the Lord. That every attack of the enemy against my soul, every spirit of distraction, every spirit of perversion, every spirit of distraction, every spirit of diversion, every spirit of distraction, every spirit of diversion, every spirit of perversion projected against my soul, be terminated by fire, be arrested by fire, prayer in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, every spirit of perversion, every spirit of distraction, every spirit of dist diversion projected against my soul. You spirit of distraction, you spirit of diversion, you spirit of perversion, be arrested, 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 be arrested. Be arrested, be arrested, be arrested, Lord. 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 Be arrested, 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 be arrested. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want us to pray and tell the Lord that Lord. 
reveal yourself to me. Brethren, it's very essential, very important as Christians, as children of the Lord, Lord, to really know what the Lord is saying by time. Lord, reveal yourself to me, O oh God. In this season, Lord, reveal yourself. Reveal yourself. I I want to know you, that I've known you before. Lord, reveal yourself to me in a way I have never seen before. Lord, reveal yourself to me, O oh God. Prayer in the name of Jesus, my Lord and my God. Reveal, Lord. Reveal, Lord. Reveal, Lord. Reveal, Lord. Reveal yourself. Reveal yourself. Reveal yourself. Reveal yourself. Review yourself, 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 review Lord, review Lord, review Lord, review Lord, review Lord, review Lord, reveal, 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 oh Lord, reveal, oh God, reveal, oh God, reveal. Reveal, O God. 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 Reveal, Lord. Reveal yourself to our children, O God. Reveal yourself to our children, Lord. Reveal yourself to our children, Lord. Reveal yourself to faith and desire. To faith and desire. Reveal yourself to my wife. Reveal yourself to my wife. Reveal yourself. Reveal yourself. Reveal yourself. Reveal yourself. Reveal yourself. Reveal yourself in Jesus. And we pray. Amen. I want us to pray and tell the Lord. The Bible says in the book of Matthew 15, verse 13, it says, Every tree my father has not planted, they shall be rooted out. I want us to tell the Lord that every evil seed of iniquity, every evil seed of affliction, when I mean affliction, sicknesses, cancer, anything. That has become a challenge. It has become a health challenge. Blood pressure, you know, being on blood pressure medication, being on hypertensive medication, being on different things, diabetic medication. The Lord, whatsoever the enemy has planted in my body, let every stranger in my body, anything that has caused, you know, becoming that your heart is becoming perfected. You know, your, your heart just continues to think of things, seen. To the, you see, oh my God, <laughs> I've been to that journey. You see, when, when the enemy invade the heart of a person with, with iniquity, that person will become creative on how to commit sin. You'll be so surprised how that person can, creative ideas will be flying in from nowhere. I want us to tell the Lord, that Lord, every stranger in my blood, every stranger in my soul, be rooted out by fire. Every stranger call anxiety. Every stranger call panic attack. Every stranger in my blood, in my body, be rooted out now, now, now. Prayer in the name of Jesus, my Lord and my God. Every stranger in my body, in my body, in the body of my wife, in my blood, in the blood of my wife, be rooted out, 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 be rooted, be rooted. Be rooted, be rooted, be rooted, be rooted, be rooted, be rooted out, 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 be rooted, be rooted, be rooted. Come out now, come out now, come out now, come out now, come out now. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says, as soon as they hear of me, strangers shall obey me, strangers shall submit themselves unto me, and they shall run out of their close places. Every stranger in your body, every stranger in your eyes, every stranger in your blood, hear the word of the Lord. Be rooted out, be rooted out, you spirit of hypertension, you spirit of diabetic, you spirit that son of God, you spirit of anxiety, you spirit of depression, hear the voice of the Lord. I declare the fire of the Lord. 
Let the fire, the fire is kaparu as he kapar. Oh Lord, my God. The Bible said, by the reason of the anointing, every yoke shall be broken. The Bible said, the beginning was the word, and the word was with the Lord, and the word was God. The Bible said, there is a light that shineth in darkness, and darkness cannot comprehend it. I decree and I prophesy. The Bible says, send forth his word, and his word he let them, and deliver them from their destruction. They send forth the word of the Lord into your life into your soul let every yoke break 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 in the name of Jesus whatsoever that has brought darkness over your soul that has brought darkness over your sight every darkness covering your eyes every power that's not making you to see clearly every spirit of darkness I declare darkness Disciplinate now, disciplinate now, disciplinate now. Give way, 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 give way now, give way now. For the light has come, 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 the light has come. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want us to pray and tell the Lord the power to live a holy life. The power to live a righteous life. Lord, let this power rest upon me. Brethren, I want you to know, the enemy will not stop contending. You see, it won't say, don't go to church. It won't say, don't carry your Bible. But the contention is, the enemy, will, they will plan. And the strategy is, make sure they don't live a holy life. Make sure they don't live a righteous life. Because he knows that they are, they are, they are standard in this thing. If you go and read in the Old Testament, Joshua, uh, uh, um, the priest, Joshua the priest was standing before the Lord and he began to point accusing finger, telling the Lord, he said, his garment has been stained. His garment has been corrupted. And that, oh God, my garment will not be corrupted. My garment will not be stained. Lord, my God, in your infinite mercy, the power to live a righteous life, the power to live a life of holiness. Lord, I will not just be running in church as a worker. Lord, don't let my life be spent as a worker. Let me, oh my God, oh my God, brethren. In my little journey with the Lord, <laughs> I realized last year, including this early this year, go and check the old Bible. Every, God never, never, you know, look at us as pastor, as, as, as a singer, as this, everybody, servant. Servant, servant. You know what that means? It means these people have chosen to serve my will. They have chosen. They have chosen to carry the cross on their shoulder. Everybody is a servant. Brethren, what I'm trying to say in essence is, if we are not living to serve the will of the Lord, the Bible says, and David served his generation. And David, my servant, Abraham, brethren, what I'm trying to tell you is, it's possible for a person to be in church. It's possible for a person to be a pastor, to be a deacon, to be a deaconess, to be a bishop, to be an archbishop, yet he's not serving their God. Meaning, if the person is occupying that position, is carrying that title, but you are not serving the will. A servant means a person who doesn't have the right over himself anymore. Now you have, have an owner called Lord. You serve the will of that Lord. That God, help me to serve your will this year. Help me to serve your will this year. The grace to live a life of holiness, a life of righteousness. Let this grace descend upon me. Let this grace descend upon me. Prayer, prayer, prayer. My Lord and my God. The grace to live a life of holiness. The grace to live a life of righteousness. Descend, 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 descend upon my wife. Descend upon our children. Descend, oh God. Descend. Let that grace be released. Let that grace be released. Let that grace be released. 
Let that grace be released. Let that grace be released. Let that grace be released. Be released now. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want us to pray before we go into the scripture for tonight. And tell the Lord, Lord, recharge my prayer order. Refire my prayer order. Recharge my prayer order, O God. Let there be a resuscitation. Lord, let there be a resuscitation. Recharge my prayer order. I don't know why this prayer kept coming back. I don't know who is here. I don't know who is here. Please, I want you to pray. I want you to pray that I will not go on a journey of no return. I will not go on a journey. The journey you have not sent me, Lord. Lord, this year, may I not make decisions that you have not chosen for me. Lord, help me this year. Don't let me go into a relationship you have not chosen for me. Don't let me go on a journey of no return. Don't let me go on a journey that will waste my life. I want us to pray because of that person. That Lord, don't let me make a decision that will waste my destiny this year. May I not go on a journey, a journey of no return, a journey of iniquity, a journey of no return. Prayer, prayer, prayer. My Lord and my God. Lord, I come before you. Lord, help me, O God. Lord, help me, help me, help my wife and myself. Help us, O God. May I not go on a journey of no return this year. May I not embark on a journey of no return. May I not embark on a journey of no return. Lord, guide my choices. Guide our 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 choices. May I not go on a journey of no return. May I not go on a journey of no return. May I, oh my God, may I not embark on a journey of no return. Lord, guide my choice. 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 Guide our choices this year. Guide our hearts this year. Guide our hearts this year. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want us to pray. Let's quickly open to the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah 33, verse 3. Jeremiah 33, verse 3 says, Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and I will show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. And I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. In the New Testament, I believe it's first Peter 2 9. He says, Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. He has not entered to the imagination of men what God has for them that love the Lord. Lord, open my eyes that I may see the great and mighty things you have written concerning my destiny. Lord, you see, oh my God. <laughs> I have, we have, we have two kids, six years old and a five. If someone right now, let's say someone came to my house, gave them hundred dollars. Do you know that if I decided to buy them a gift, something they've been asking me for, maybe that only cost 10 bucks, $10. If I give them that gift, because they don't know the value of $100, do you know that they will give me that money and take that gift? That is what happens to believers. When we don't know what the Lord has said concerning us, when we don't know what has been written our own true identity. What has the Lord called me to do? The enemy will bring something that looks like it. The enemy will bring what is enticing. The enemy will bring what will bring satisfaction to the flesh. I want us to pray. Because you see, when you see these things, I was telling my Sunday school students yesterday and encouraging them. You see, 
in this journey, in my little journey, the devil has come many times. Jump on the train track. You are not what. You are worthless. You are this. Brethren, let me be honest with you. The enemy is coming for everybody. He will throw many evil thoughts. But guess what? The day of our adversity, the only thing that will come to our rescue is the things you have found yourself. The things you have journeyed into, not what you have been told. You see, whatever comes into the head, it stays in the head, in the days of adversity. But in the days of adversity, what, what you have journeyed into that has entered your, entered spirit, your spirit, those, are, those the are the things that have been quickened back to you. I want us to tell the Lord. The reason why I'm saying this is because many have turned back. Brethren, <laughs> you'll be so shocked if the Lord opened your eyes. <laughs> I'm not saying this with a heart of joy. I'm saying this with a broken heart. I don't lie to you. There are many people globally in our churches who already turned back on God. They just come to church every Sunday to just enjoy worship. Some just come. They just come like, let's just go. One day, shall one day, one day, one day. Maybe, maybe one day, God will pick my call. Maybe one day. We have given up on God. We have given up on God. Brethren, I want us to tell the Lord, if Elijah who called down fire can give up on God, to the point Elijah told God, God, kill me. Kill me. Kill me. If Elijah such a man that he, this man journeyed to the point, despite all the things Elijah said, that is to tell you the investment of this man in heaven, yet he didn't see death. A man would journey so deep, so deep like that, to the point that his body, his body came back to the Mount of Transfiguration. His body came to the Mount of Transfiguration, yet this man told God, you see, in the New Testament, how do you think God will judge, or Jesus will judge Elijah? You probably see him. We will call what Elijah, Elijah was depressed. Doubt. The same question. Look at the question John the Baptist asked. Are you, are you the true one? <laughs> I, said, I said many things about you. God told me many things about you. That the one that is coming. I cannot even open the latchet of his sandal. And when John the Baptist realized he has been arrested, he sent his messenger. Yet, look at the, the response of Jesus. And yet, look at the response of heaven to Elijah. Both of them carried the same mantle. John the Baptist carried the mantle of Elijah. I want us to tell the Lord, Lord, open my eyes. Open my eyes that I may see. <laughs> Even Jesus Christ told us, he said John was a burning light. Burning and a shining. Burning! But even John the Baptist didn't realize the level of glory he brought to earth. He didn't know that. Jesus was the one now revealing to us from the mind of the Father that John the Baptist, he said, out of men that were ever born, None was as great as John. Yet, even John doesn't know that. Brethren, you see, the worst thing that can happen to a believer is for you to be seeing potential in a person. And if the person cannot see the potential in themselves, for you to be seeing the value of what you carry, and yet the person does not know the value of themselves. Lord, open my eyes. Open my eyes. The, the verse we just read, Jeremiah 33, verse 3. Lord, open my eyes, O God, that I may see the great and mighty things you have written concerning my destiny. Lord, open my eyes, these eyes, that I may see, that I may see. There's something you have written. The Bible says, I came in the volume of the book written of me. Open my eyes that I may see. Prayer, prayer, prayer. My Lord and my God. Open my eyes that I may see, 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 that I may see. 
the things you have written concerning my life, concerning our children. Open my eyes. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Like I said last week, we're going to be going into a journey. However, please, I want you guys to be in the spirit with me. However, I've seen the Lord, like today now, according to what I said on Thursday, that from this week, last week, Holy Spirit told me, he said, I want you to go back to doing like a devotional, meaning we'll be going into the job. And the Holy Spirit told me, he said, there are many people who come to this prayer line I don't want them to just depend on prayer because some of them, they don't open the scripture. They don't open the Bible on a daily basis to fellowship with me. So I want you to begin to use this platform where they can, they know that, okay, today we are going to be open the scripture for a study, a study. So, but however, please, however, there will be days like it happened today there will be days that the Holy Spirit will interrupt us to pray. You know? So, I want us to start from the book of John. So, we're going to embark on a journey now. We're going to be opening scripture every day, you know, to fellowship with the Lord. I want us to go to the book of John. John chapter 1. John chapter 1. I want someone to read, if you want to volunteer to read for us, from verse 1, John chapter 1. One moment. John chapter 1, from verse 1 to 10, from verse 1 to 10. And we will have anyone, anyone, you can explain whatever caught your eyes, whatever the Holy Spirit is revealing to you to teach us. Anyone can explain. Anyone can go ahead. The book of John chapter 1, from verse 1 to 10. You can use any translation comfortable for you, either King James or NLT, you know. Or uh, I'll use I'll use um, King James, but you can use your translation. Anyone if you want to volunteer? John chapter one from verse one to ten. All right, I'll go ahead and read. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not any anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shined in darkness, and the darkness comprehended, comprehended it not. Verse 6, there was a man sent from God whose name was John, the same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. He was not the light. He was not that light which lighted, excuse me, he was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That, that was the true light, which lighted every man that cometh into the world. Verse 10. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. Anyone wants to explain? Anyone? Before I go into explanation. Anyone? All right, so the Bible says, we see here that they introducing us from the epistle of John, that in the beginning, it says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. I want you to look at the transition. 
in the beginning the word and the one was with standing with God and the word now became God the word talking about Jesus the word of God Jesus his true name is the word of God he became God and for you to know that they were talking about a personality verse 2 says the same was in the beginning with God all things were made by him including you and myself according to Jeremiah 1 5 he said I knew thee before I formed you in your mother's womb. Verse 2 says, And without him was not anything that was made. Let me pause there. Brethren, I want you to understand. If the Bible is telling us that without God, there's nothing, nothing. He says, Without him was not anything made that was made. It means whatsoever we have desired, desired, whatsoever that will be created cannot be exclusive of God's word. Everything, everything was made with God through him. Meaning for us to choose to live our own life or to become creative with our lives is to embark on a wrong journey. Did you observe that there were many times you will hear Jesus say, my will is to serve the will of him that sent me. My will, my food is to please the one that sent me. My will my will is to please the Father. I do what I see the Father doing. Everything he was doing was being created. From where? From the will of the Father. Brethren, I'm bringing the word of the Lord to you today. Please, you have just one life. You have no spare. Don't be creative with your life. Please let me bring the balance. I'm not saying don't be creative in terms of, you know, creativity, maybe in your academics, trying to be strategic to plan yourself, or maybe you own a business and you're trying to be innovative and creative. That's not what I'm saying. When it comes to destiny, when it comes to making significant decisions with your life, go back to the studio where you were formed. Go back to the world that created you because we were created from the world. That was why, if you observe in Genesis, everything that was created came from this world. Let there be light, let there be this. The Bible says, in the book of Hebrew, chapter 11, it said, Everything that was created was created from things that we cannot be seen from the world. Please don't be creative outside the will of God. Don't create what God has not created. Go back to him. Go back to the word. Verse 3, he says, verse 4 says, in him was life, and that life was the light of men, and the light shined in darkness, and darkness comprehended it not. Brethren, in him was life. Meaning in the world, life is inside. The Bible says in Psalm 119, say your word, the entrance of thy word, giveth light. The entrance of thy word, giveth. When the word enters, anything that looks like darkness, check out. When the word enters, cancer, check out. When the word enters, iniquity, check out. When the word enters, anxiety has no choice but to check out. Brethren, load your heart with the word of God. 
Let the word of God. The Bible says in Psalm 119, it says, your word have I hidden in my heart that I may not sin against thee. Let the word sit. Saturate your heart with the word of the Lord. When the word of the Lord comes, I'm telling you, fear disappears. Confidence is restored. Because there is a light. Oh my God. <laughs> I just quit the panda. You see, when that light visited Apostle Paul on his way to Damascus, that, he couldn't withstand the light, including everybody that was with him. No one, not even John, John the beloved in the book of Revelation, no one sees the light. No man sees the light and below the light. When the light comes, everything bows. Ah, I don't care how long that situation is. When the light comes, mark the word I'm saying. When the true light comes, everything has to bow. I don't care how long that situation is. The more everybody falls flat, including the 24 elders. When the light shows up, everybody must bow. Brethren, saturate your heart with light. Saturate your heart because that light, there is life inside. There is life inside. Verse 6, it says, there was a man sent from God. There was a man sent. Brethren, I said this last year. Multiple times, you were not you were not just given birth from the passage of a mother. You have been sent. Ah, brethren, you see, if you can allow this to rest upon your subconsciousness, you didn't come to this world just to come and enjoy. You were sent on a mission. Ah, brethren, you are on a mission. I am on a mission. Have you ever seen anyone, if you have a friend or a colleague who is, who is in the army, when they send them on a mission, you have to come back with me. There's a mission statement. You must come back and give account on uh, what you did on that mission. Brethren, you and I have been sent and trusted to come to this earth on a mission. You were sent here on a mission. I'm telling you, and part of the strategy of the enemy in this end time is to distract you and I on that mission. To distract you on that mission, it will bring big ambition. It will bring many desires. We bring many good, you see, like I've always said, the enemy doesn't have much strategy. The enemy knows what you desire. The enemy have, have strategically known how to use good things to manipulate our hearts. Brethren, I want us to pray and tell the Lord, Lord, search my heart to God. Search my heart to God. Don't let me be manipulated. Let every strategic manipulation of the enemy, whatsoever the enemy has put in front of me to manipulate me this year, Lord, remove them. Don't let my lust destroy me. Don't let my lustful desires destroy me. Prayer in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my God. Lord, I come before you. Don't let my lustful desire destroy me. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Verse 7, verse 6 again. He says, there was a man sent from God whose name was John. I hope you know that John has a father called Zechariah. So John has a mother. Yet, they didn't mention their name. To place emphasis that he was sent 
not just born. Verse 7, the same came to a witness, to be a witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. Brethren, did you realize the thing Jesus Christ told the disciples in the book of Acts chapter 1? These same disciples, they did many miracles in the book of Luke chapter 10. They did so, so much miracles that they came back rejoicing, telling the Lord how ah, the lame walk, the blind see, many things happen. And Jesus Christ told them, he said, I see Satan being casted down like lightning. He said, but I rejoice, I'm trying to paraphrase now, that your name has been written in the book of life. But by the time we go to the book of Acts, because now their real assignment is about to start. He said, you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in every part of the earth. He even told them this in the book of Matthew. Brethren, you know what he told them? For you to be a witness and take up this new assignment, you must stay in the upper room. Brethren, you see, like I said about children, we have two young child right now. They are the level of a child, but a face will come, they will begin to take responsibility. A new convert who is a Christian is still a baby Christian. God won't place much responsibility. But if you have been a Christian for more than 10 years, more than seven years, God is expecting you now to begin to journey to the place of a witness. You and I are supposed to be witness. People that stand for this gospel. People that bring Jesus to the scene. You bring Jesus to your place of work. You bring Jesus to everywhere because now you are no longer just a child. Now you have become a witness. One who has to work with the Lord that has the proof. I'm going to stop here. It's 11 on the dot. Thank you. I want us to tell the Lord. There's one of our sister here whose birthday is today, Sister Ellen. I want you to quickly send a word of prayer to her and tell the Lord, Lord, visit Sister Helen. She's here right now. Visit her in your mercy. As you have opened the book of remembrance, Lord, please visit her in your mercy today. Today is her birthday, Lord. Let your mercy locate her today. Prayer in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, we pray for your daughter. Lord, visit her today, Lord. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Heavenly Father, we say thank you. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for how far you have brought us tonight. Lord, the grace to stay in your word. The grace to fellowship with you. The grace to go deeper in intimacy. Let this grace be released upon us. Encounter us tonight. I cover everyone with the blood of Jesus. I decree favor into this week. I decree favor, the hand of the Lord. I decree divine visitation. Open doors, open doors. Breakthroughs, divine preservation and protection. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. Thank you, everyone. God bless you. Please, this is a reminder that the Garden of the Eagles, our in-person meeting, is coming up um, February, the second week in February. We're going to be starting 4.30, 4.30. Just a quick reminder, 4.30. Um, uh, and I believe it's February 10th. Please invite your friends, your family, your loved ones. You can bring your children, your cousins, your nephew. Anyone can be there. It's going to be an atmosphere of intense prayer and worship. The theme of that meeting that day is contending for the faith of our fathers. It is time to journey and contend for a faith that the Lord is waiting for. God bless you. See you tomorrow night, 10 p.m. Bye-bye. God bless you.